pikas are about the size of guinea pigs. They live in the mountains, in fields of scree, usually at least 7,000 feet above sea level. Pikas can move quickly, and they're very well camouflaged. From 20 feet away, you can stare straight at one of these little animals without seeing it. Pikas are most closely related to rabbits and hares, and like those animals, they eat grasses and other plants that are hard to digest. Unlike ruminants, they don't have complex digestive systems that can pump food back and forth while bacteria break down the cellulose. So, like rabbits, pikas have to eat their food twice. The first time around, after passing through the small intestine, the partially digested food spends some time in the cecum, roughly where a human's appendix would be, getting some enzymatic attention from bacteria. Then it gets pushed on through the large intestine and out the back end, ready to be eaten again. Pikas don't hibernate. Their warm fur helps them stay active year-round. Their insulation can be a curse, though. Temperatures in the high 70s can kill a pika. In wintertime, Pikas tunnel through the snow to reach plants at the edges of the rock fields where they live. But they also eat hay, which they have stored up among the rocks during the summertime. They're one of the few mammal species that actually makes hay. Sometimes pikas fortify their hay piles with their own half-digested cecal excretions. It doesn't look pretty, but apparently the cecal matter is dense in calories. If you ever hear the distinctive call of a pika, consider taking the time to stop, scan the rocks, and get to know the spirited little chief hare of the mountain west.